Hey, it's Chad Lubin with The Lubin Group. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Welcome to Motivational Monday. There's three things I'm currently working on just to keep my motivation, keep my business in a good place. I hope you all see the environment changing a little bit and some of the slowdown. I know our leads have been down slightly. Uh, so one thing I've done is I've added an extra calling time to my schedule. I've added, I've increased my number of calls per day up by 10. Uh, I have been making sure I'm pouring into my people uh, when they've been so busy for so long and see a, a pullback. I make sure I'm pouring into them and letting them know they're good. This is natural, especially some of my new people. I think the key to business is pouring into your people, stay in the path and staying in your lane. I've seen so many people in business fail because they do something really, really well. And then they think there's this next thing that they have to do well. Like, uh, a couple of realtors come to mind that I know and they, and they went into development and it didn't go well, right? I'm sure there's some people that it's gone really well with, but I just believe for myself, I'm staying in my lane. I'm gonna do mortgages. I'm gonna lead my loan officers. I'm gonna coach loan officers across the country. That is what I do well. I run a P&L very well. I run my personal family budget very well. Those are my strengths. Now, it's not that I don't work on my weaknesses, I do, but I'm not gonna go shift my whole business to like go run a hamburger restaurant. Uh, Au Chevelle's got that all figured out. So I really believe in staying in your lane. This too is what we need to fall in love on. Uh, the, the basics, right? The basics are the fundamentals of our business. So make sure you're falling in love with the basics of prospecting, catering to clients, helping them close on a home. I think it's super duper important. You know, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is <clears throat> happiness, what true happiness is. I'm reading this book right now. Andrew Frisella is someone I really enjoy. He started Proform. He does a few podcasts. Uh, they got inappropriate names, but I really like his message. Um, and I like his way about going about business. And uh, I'm reading his book right now, and I love what he says in it, that true happiness is not in your comfort zone. See, marketing has sold us this idea that retirement and true happiness is sitting on a beach with a straw in your drink and have no worries in the world. I don't think that's true happiness. I think true happiness is when you get out of your comfort zone, when you push yourself to do something you don't think you could do, and uh, when you achieve something great that you've been working on for a long, long time. So maybe that's a cold call to a builder. Maybe that is calling an HR director to try and be the corporate realtor for their accounts. Uh, for me, that's landing some of you, right? It's uncomfortable, making the cold calls is uncomfortable, but once you achieve it and you have gone through something, there's no bigger rush or joy that I've felt in my life than some of the agents uh, I've convinced to work with me. So uh, do that for yourself, do that with a home builder, do that with an employee you need to go after, go after a company, a financial advisor, just something that can move the needle on your business. Um, staying in your comfort zone does not create true happiness. And I think grit, uh, doing something uncomfortable and achievement is what really true happiness is. So if I can help you in any way uh, with any of these things, please hit me up 312-731-4939 for our Chicago listeners and for our North Carolina people, 704-495-1869. Thank you.